we have a compound C2H4 which is called ethene. Now, what happens in this compound? First, I drew the C. Now, there are only four hydrogens. So, we cannot have six hydrogens over here. We have space for only two hydrogens on each carbon atom. But see, carbon, this has only three bonds. So, it has one electron. It has one valency which is not satisfied. Similarly, this carbon also has a valency which is not satisfied. So, how do, how do they satisfy this fourth valency? They make a double bond over here. Now, see, if they make this double bond, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is satisfied, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is satisfied. So, in ethene, there is a double bond between a carbon, between the two carbons. Now, let us proceed to this electron dot structure. One, two, I'm drawing it like this now. Instead of all the electrons on all the four sides of carbon, I'm drawing these two electrons on this side because we need them for the double bond. Hydrogen, 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 and hydrogen. So, first, Make the hydrogen happy. Give them the electron of carbon. Now, these two electrons are shared with these. This electron is shared with this electron. And this electron is shared with this electron. So, you should make a circle in a manner like this. So, the total number of electrons are Four of four original of this carbon, two of hydrogen, so that's six, and two of this carbon, so that's eight. And similarly, make a circle like this. So, this is the electron dot structure for ethene. What if there is a triple bond between the two carbons as in C2H2 which is called ethine. Now, we have only two hydrogens. So, we place one hydrogen over each carbon atom. So, there are only two valencies which are satisfied. The, there are two valencies of carbon still left to be satisfied. It needs to bond to two, it needs to have two more bonds. So, one bond and another bond over here. So, this makes a triple bond. So, carb, this carbon has one, two, three and one, four bonds. So, its valency of four is satisfied and this carbon also has four bonds. So, its valency of four is satisfied. And of course, hydrogen valency 1 is satisfied. So, the electron dot structure will be hydrogen with a dot, hydrogen with a dot, usual way satisfy the hydrogen first and then satisfy this these two carbons so see carbon has 6 plus 2 8 carbon has 6 plus 2 8 and hydrogen of course has 2 as usual so this is the electron dot structure for ethyne Now, 
try drawing the electron dot structure of CO2 carbon dioxide. First, try it yourself, then I'll show you the solution. Okay, so C over here, there are two oxygens. Put it on either side of carbon. Now, oxygen has a valency 2 and carbon has a valency 4. So, oxygen, this has only carbon to bond with and this also has only carbon to bond with. So, it bonds, its, it has both its bonds with carbon. This also has both its bonds with carbon. So, carbon has 1, 2, 3, 4 and both the oxygens have two bonds each. So, all the valencies of all the valencies of all the elements are satisfied over here. We don't, you might think that there might be a structure somewhat like this or something like that, CO2 like this. But oxygen, this oxygen has one valency remaining, this carbon has three valencies remaining, nothing to satisfy them. So, this structure is ruled out. And moreover, this oxygen oxygen bond, single bond, is very weak. So, this breaks very easily. So, this is not formed. This is the structure for CO2. Now, it is electron dot structure. See the bonds first. There are two bonds. So, there should have been two electrons over here. There are two bonds here. So, there should be two electrons here. Oxygen has two electrons here and four electrons here. So, oxygen has still six electrons. So, oxygen gets these two electrons from carbon. So, after getting these two electrons, it has six plus 2, 8. This oxygen also gets these two electrons from carbon. This also has 8. And carbon in turn gets two electrons each from oxygen. Two electrons from each oxygen. So, this is the electron dot structure for carbon dioxide. 